Hi guys, awesome that you have tuned in and if you watched my channel already, you know that this watch is really a freaking superstar and I really can't believe it why I'm getting this watch so often in my hands with this set. Thank you very much to the Fan City Watches GmbH that was so kind enough to give me that watch and of course uh, chronometry in Baden-Baden for always checking on the watch before I am getting it. Man, what a beautiful watch. And if you look at this watch, it's also important to understand these guys were absolutely phenomenal. Why do I say that? Well, you see it on the right side. This is the Hoyer Octavia model and it looks completely completely the opposite if you compare it to the Hoyer Cortina. So why is that? Well, we have to understand the complete history. The history when the quartz crisis arised and many, many mechanical watch industries really started to struggle. And Hoyer wasn't an exception. They really struggled. And at the end, lost the battle. That's the reason why Tech Hoyer appeared. They are, they were, so to say, the safe haven for Hoyer. But that is the thing. All the Hoyer watches to this day are now incredibly sought after because they are basically mirroring these hard times. And you see it in the Cortina, for example, how different it does look like compared to the Hoyer Otavia. It was such the last straw that Jack Hoyer had before he had to sell his company, which isn't now a bad thing, but you know, Thinking about the times and in his shoes that he was at, it wasn't a very pleasant situation. But at the very end, everything went out good. We have now Tech Heuer, of course. But as I said, it's very important to also understand that vintage watches are a very, very, very great thing. And as I always say, a witness of history. Now, looking at these two watches, we see... At the first glance, that of course, the Cortina is absolutely, well, more into the classy side, whereas the Hoyer Octavia is the sporty ones. And this is, of course, the reason because, you know, the Hoyer Octavia has a racing background. And if you look a little bit into the history, you will see a lot of racing drivers rocking their Hoyer Octavia. And then when you see the Cortina, for example, well, it's a scarcity out there. You will not be able to find one. And if so, well, be prepared to pay a super premium. Now, let's go to the prices. The Toyo Otavia is around, let's say, six and a half, seven thousand dollars $7,000. And that's somewhere around the same ballpark. If you consider the Cortina, it's also around seven, five, eight thousand dollars $8,000. But it is incredible. I think now, in these days, it's still a steal and um if you if you ask me uh, a very very cool watch and if you consider the history and how it developed over time you know no one thought that the 100 dollar watch would one day run around seven and a half eight thousand dollars but this is the case now and i wanted to say if you you know go over all the auctions and see the the prizes that these two babies here fetched. I mean, they were consistently raising, raising, raising the prices. And, and it's very, very incredible to see how these um, prices really over the years uh, went up, really. But I, I do not talk about um, that you should consider such a watch because, you know, I see again an investment. If if I would say that, I, I, I wouldn't really mean good to the, the brand and to the all the people that love really to collect these watches. They are incredible, really. I had both on my wrist and I, I fell in love with both of them. And, and, you know, even though I can't afford it right now, one day I will for sure. And um probably it will be the Hoyer Otavia, but you know what? If one day, then I will I will take both. But, you know, the day has to come. But again, I'm still very, very happy and super proud and, and feel honored that I'm able to show you 
these two watches into the cam. Guys, let me know in the comments below. How do you like the Cortina? Would you prefer the Otavia maybe over the Cortina? I would like to know your opinion about these cool watches. And of course, if you ever would consider, if you now think about the waitlist dilemma that we have now, you know, to 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 get this mod box somehow itched, I would say that watch box. And then look for an super cool nice vintage watch now all of that is of course a personal preference but i have to say i really gotta say since i'm almost four years on the wait list and really it feels like nothing is happening i do tend to think about man why not look at the vintage market now that i have the opportunity to hold these two babies in my hand i do understand it guys i do completely understand i i do get slowly the you know it, it is a mindset thing and i think at a certain point in time you are growing up you grow up and you start appreciating such incredible beautiful watches and again as i always say don't rely just on pictures that you see you got to also have it in your hands to understand how cool these babies are and then go into the platform buy yourself the watches but at first hold them in your hand put them on your wrist feel comfortable i mean you you got to have that feeling it's incredible these watches for example the cortina you put it on your wrist and you feel immediately the watch is starting to talk to you it's like she's getting super um fast hot you get it you know in the same body temperature as yours super fast it's so incredible the the integrated bracelet is really complementing your your skin your wrist it's it's almost undescribable what a cool feeling that is and then of course when you have those days where you say you know i'm going out and would like to do something on my car to change the wheels or you know to swap out the exhaust i would like to have a little louder mufflers on the car you know, I like to feel, you know, like, like a race driver, like the dudes back in the day. Well, then go with the cool looking Hoyer Otavia. Now consider the Otavia is always a little bit higher. I would say this is due to the bezel and of course the design. But nevertheless, both watches really compliment your wrist i i gotta say that i'm really sorry that i'm repeating myself all the time but look at the design both of them are special even though they're coming from the same year and i gotta say the way how the cortina has been done you know how the bracelet is on the case is really unique and i would say this is maybe the reason why it is so comfortable on the wrist and honestly man i would like to have them i really would love to have them again guys let me know what you're thinking about these two watches do you also one day consider to say you know ah i'm not really saying screw the wait list but you know to make the time a little bit shorter for me and more enjoyable i will yeah i will consider um vintage and maybe maybe you will even think about to get yourself a cool looking and really really even if you like to go classic or sporty, either way, a cool watch. And now consider the dials. You know, when you have a watch, the dial is the one that is talking to you. And even though you have on the left side a 39 millimeter in diameter watch and on the right side a 42, the white one is really looking bigger, a little bit, you know, and it's also wearing a little bit. Of. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you like about the watch. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And yeah, we're going to see us in the next video, guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye.